Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and today let's make a Japanese knot bag. They are little bags where one handle is a little longer than the other handle, and it's the way you put them together. You can wear them on your wrist. They're great for crafts, storage, or even a quick little purse. And let's make them out of four fat quarters. So get four fat quarters and let's get started. A fat quarter is one quarter of a yard. So we're going to have approximately 18 inches by 22 inches. So we are going to need four of them. Start with those four pieces well pressed and have two right sides touching each other and the second two sides touching each other. So we have rights and rights together. Then we're just going to square these off. I do want to get rid of the selvage and I want to make sure that all sides are the same. So your measurement might be a little bit different than mine, but that's fine. We just want this approximate size. So I'm going to trim my selvage and all of those edges. So my measurement equals 17 and a quarter inches by almost 21 inches. So we have to have somewhere around that measurement, but it does not need to be exact. This shorter edge is going to be the bottom of the bag. The longer will be the sides of the bag. So from this top down, measure nine inches and draw a line. This nine inch part, I want to do a quarter inch on each side. From one side, I'm going to measure over three inches from that quarter inch mark or three and a quarter from that edge. I'm going to do the same to this side. On one side, I'm going to measure down four inches. This little four inch mark, that's going to be cut off. This big center piece is also going to be cut off. But we're going to put some little curves in this area. This curve shape, I'm going to get from anything round. And this just happens to be a candle holder. And draw that curve. And I'm going to draw that curve on both sides. And I'm going to curve off that bottom. That's all the measuring we're going to do. Now that I have all these measurements, I'm just going to be able to cut it out. I'm going to cut right here and take that first piece right off. I'm going to keep all four pieces together and that way they're going to be identical in size. So I've taken off that little four inch piece and have curved all the way around. We need to remove this little quarter inch mark on this side and a little quarter inch on this side. Now, just cut out those curves and that's all the cutting we are going to need to do. Let's take a quick look at what we have. We have three inches and it goes down to a nine inch mark. This other side, we still have three inches, it goes to five inch. And we have that little quarter inch, so the bottom is a little bit bigger than the top and a rounded bottom. We're going to be able to pick up these pieces and we can pick them up so we have those right sides touching. So for each piece, we're going to sew from that quarter inch up all the way around and down here. So we're sewing this handle shape first and we're going to do that to both pieces and I would recommend a quarter inch seam allowance. Once this piece has been stitched we need to do a little notching and what that means is we're just going to take our scissors and snip in this area where we have that bend. Just a little snip right to the threads. Be careful not to cut the threads and just snip around that curve. So we're going to do one curve, two on both of these sides. We're going to take both those bags and turn them right side out and press it nice and flat. 
So we now have two pieces and both good sides are facing out. You will notice that as we stitched here, we came to this little point. So we have that little quarter inch sticking out and that is what we are looking for. It will be there and on this side. We need to attach the handles up at the top. So we need to take one piece and turn it back so we are looking at the wrong side. That pressing was important that we do it now and that way we don't have to press it as much after. So let's turn that right back out. So we have the long handle and that short handle. We're going to take this piece and just slide that handle right up into that long handle. So those two long handles are going to go together. We're just putting it up inside. Once the long portion is done, we're going to put in the short handle. So those short handle and the long handles are going to match. We're just bringing that right upside that tube. So when we lay it out flat, we have that one bag stuck inside the other bag so the handles are inside. And we're going to match up those raw edges. When you look inside, you're going to see that we have the right sides touching each other. And that's going to go on both sides. So match them up and smooth them out. We are now going to stitch a quarter inch along this top and along this top. But before we do that, feel inside and make sure that everything is flat and nothing is twisted. It's really easy to get that handle twisted in the inside. But if you feel it, you can feel that it's nice and flat. Once it's flat, just stitch those two edges. When you pull these two handles apart, they're going to be joined. And I do like to pull them apart and press them. So we have that long handle and the short handle. While this is pressed, it'll be really easy for us to do a top stitch all the way around that circle. Once we've done that little top stitch, we're going to be able to do these two sides. It is important that we stay within this seam. So we can start here, stitch all the way down and end. So the center is stitched down and the side handles are stitched down. When you pick this up, we're going to see that shape that we want but we don't have the bottom stitched. We're going to be able to stitch the bottom all in one seam. We're going to take this top fabric and bring it over top of the handles. Turn it over. Take the top fabric and put it over the handles. So when we look, we have the handles inside of those two pieces right sides touching and we have right sides touching on the other side. We're going to be able to match up and pin those seams. When you do pin, be sure to keep this handle out of the way so we do not stitch over top of it. When we finish pinning this, we are going to be able to stitch around it and leave an opening. You can leave an opening to the side or the bottom and it won't matter where this opening is left out. We just need about a four inch opening. So I'm going to start, stitch all the way around and stop, leaving that opening. As we're stitching around, we will notice this little piece cut out. That was that quarter inch. The stitches need to come right past that quarter inch. So that is where the stitches are going to go. If you stitch in a little bit, you're going to end up with a little hole here. So adjust your stitches so they come right along that line. And now from this little opening, I can reach my hand in and pull this bag right side out. Once we've pulled that right side out, we're going to have one edge that has that little hole. Now if you're not going to make the bag reversible, 
you can just do a row of stitching here. If you want it reversible, just do a little hand stitch to close that up. Now that bag will be reversible. We have that one long handle and the short handle. All of these seams are already top stitched down and the bag is done. We're going to take that large handle and just put it through that small handle and this now becomes the true handle. That short handle, think of it as a closure. It's not a handle, it's what's helping it stay closed. So we have a two-sided bag and a reversible bag. This bag can be made in many different sizes. You can make this deeper or skinnier. What we're looking at is a handle about three inches by nine inches and three inches by about five inches. The bag can be a little skinny one with a longer bottom. It can be many different sizes. I just like being able to use four fat quarters and get a complete bag. The bags don't look overly big, but they really can hold a lot of stuff. Just put that one handle through the small one and we're ready to carry it. The way this bag was constructed is definitely different than your traditional bags, but I like the way that the handles are all done first and I'm able to top stitch while it's nice and flat. And then I just have that little opening to finish off and well, I'm done and it only took four fat quarters. I do hope you enjoy my take on the knot bag. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a newsletter. It's all free under So Very Easy. Thanks for joining me again. Bye for now.